Hey guys, I'm Bignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in this video, we are going to see uh, how to use Python as our client library to read data from BigQuery using in Cloud Shell or Cloud Terminal. So this is very simple and the most you frequently use the service in Google Cloud platform called BigQuery. So without any further delay, I log into my cloud platform that is my console. So I'll open my console. So this is my console. And the first thing is we have to create service account. So the service account is already created. And this service account will have two roles. One, both the roles are related to BigQuery. One is here you can see BigQuery data viewer and BigQuery user. I have created video on service account and did that land uh, hands on on um, service accounts with a compute engine i'll give you the link of those videos in this description box please take a look at it and this is the piece of code which we are going to execute here so i have imported the libraries um, from google.cloud import bigquery and the service account so basically i have created the service account and i downloaded the uh, key file as well so that key file i have placed it here you can see this is my key file so the path for that key file and this is the project id and this is the piece of code the first thing is I have created one function. So this is the function which is going to do the job for us. So first thing is it takes key path and project ID. First it configures the credentials that is the service account JSON key credentials into this particular client object. So client equal to BigQuery dot client and credentials and respective project ID. So this is the query which we are going to uh, get this piece of data from BigQuery and store it into data frame and we will be printing that in the form of pandas data frame. So query job equal to client.query and this is the query. And uh, you can see like and uh, data equal to query underscore job to data frame. This piece of code will convert the data into data frame and return that data frame. When I execute this, I'll just clear it and I'll execute it again. So here you can see the day uh, the result will be written in the form of data from name and total people name and total people so what does this data data is about so this is a public data set which is available in bigquery bigquery public data set this is the project and us underscore names is the data set and usa underscore 1910 2013 is the table name i'll just execute this query you can see the results over here so it results state, gender, year, name and number. So I am going to write a SQL query which fetch me the name and respective total number in this uh, particular state called Texas. So this is the result which is going to fetch. I am just cross checking whether the results of both the things are same or not. So here comes James, John, Michael, Robert. The same thing we will be able to James, John, Michael, Robert, David and respective. So that's it for this video and i'll be making a series of video on how to use python as a client library to do different jobs for example uh, uploading data uh, reading data from cloud storage so there are different other options as well which i'll be doing it in this particular series i hope you learn something new from this video and uh, uh, if you have any questions please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible please do like comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video with more interesting content related to BigQuery and Python APIs. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh and happy learning.